Okay, now we have question number two from S1 October 2018, International A-Level. <coughs> Here we have a stem and leaf <coughs> table or diagram. Uh, the weight to the nearest kilogram of a sample of 33 female spotted hyenas living in the Serengeti are summarized in the stem and leaf diagram below. So you've got the weights and the totals on the side and the key here tells us that 3.2 means 32, it could be 3.2 as so on here. It clear, clarifies that the stem part is the tens and the leaf part is the units. Okay, so basically this means that this is 32, 33, 37, 41, 43 and so on. And this just tells us how many are in each of these categories. Okay, so we're asked to find the median and the quartiles for this data here. Okay, so we need to find the median and the quartile. So let's start with the median. Now, median is given the symbol Q2. Okay, so the median is Q2. Oops, what am I doing? The median is Q2. Q2. All right, so the median is basically um, the middle term when they are ordered in order of size. And we can see here that they are ordered in size here. You've got 32, 33, 37, 41. You can see they're going from smaller to bigger. There's no need to do any rearrangement of these data. And we know the number of terms is equal to 33. Okay, so the median term, the, the median position, you could say, and not the median value, is going to be given by 33 over 2, which gives you, okay, that gives you, a, that's 15, 16.5. Okay, so... When we do it in this method here, there's different methods of finding the median and the quartiles. I prefer this method, especially when you've got quartiles to deal with. Um, so basically, you take the number of items, which is 33, because they've told us it's 33. You divide it by 2 to find the median. And whatever you come out with, if it comes out as a fraction, it's always the next term up. So it's the 17th term. Some people do it a different way, n plus 1 over 2, which will also give you 17. But I prefer to use this way, especially when we're dealing with quartiles, where it makes life a bit easier to deal with, okay? So, whichever way you do it, in, in, you're looking for, we're looking for the 17th term. So, here we've got three terms in this category and eight terms in that category, so that's 11. I'm doing the running total now, you can say the cumulative frequency. We've got three terms and 11 terms, that's, that's going to be um, 3 plus 8, 11. And then you've got another 15 terms, so you're going to get to the 26th term. So, we see the 11th term is, this is the... By the time you got to here, you got to the 11th term, so this is the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th. So the 17th term is 54. Okay, so Q2 is equal to 54. Okay, that's Q2. Now I want to find the lower quartile, Q1. To find Q1, we're going to take N over 4, which is 33 divided by 4. Now what does that give us? That tells us where it is. Okay, well this, this is just the position, it's not the actual median. So we're going to find the value of it. Let me just get this calculator. So we're going to have 33 over 4. Now this gives us 8.25. Okay, so a similar thing. We always, it's the 8.25th term. So what we have to do for the median, okay, when you do, sorry, for the lower quartile, and the upper quartile, if it comes out as a whole number, you take that number and the next. If it comes out as a decimal, you just round up to the next number. Even if it's closer to 8, you're going to put 9. So it's the ninth term. Okay, so we're looking for the ninth term. Okay, so by the time we finished this, that's the 11th term. That's the 10th term. That's the ninth term. So it's 45. Okay, so Q, Q1 is equal to 45. So Q1 is equal to 45. And Q3, which is the upper quartile is 3n over 4. So this 8.25 that we've got before, this 8.25, okay, we just multiply it by 3. That gives us 99 over 4, which is 24.75. 24.75. So we're looking for the 25th term. The 25th term. So that will give us Q3. So the 25th term, well, the 26th term is this. This is the 25th term, so that's 59. So we have, basically, our answers. Q1 is 45, Q3 is 59, and Q2 is 54. Okay, so I'll just let, let's write it down here so it's clear. Q1 is 45, that's the lower quartile. Q2 
is the median, which is 54, and Q3, which is the upper quartile, which is 59. Okay, so there are the answers for that part of the question together. Okay, so that's question part A. Then it says part B. It says an outlier is defined as any value um, greater than C or any value less than D where C equals. Okay, so that's the upper limit and that's the lower limit of the, uh, of the outliers. Okay, so let's see what C is, which is the upper limit. So you've got Q3, which is 59 plus 1.5 times the interquartile range. Now, the interquartile range is 59 minus 45. 59 minus 45. Okay, that will give you C and D will be, okay, Q1, which is 45, minus 1.5 times 59 minus 45. So it's 1.5 more than the upper quartile and 1.5 so 1.5 times interquartile range more than the upper quartile to give you the upper limit and 1.5 times interquartile range less than the lower quartile to give you the lower limit okay so that's what we're looking for here so let's just work out these values you're going to have 59 plus 1.5 times 59 minus 45 okay so that gives you 80, that's C, and D will be, um, you're going to have the same thing here, it's just going to be, this is going to be a minus, you're going to have 45 minus that, which gives you 24. Okay, so there's a, the um, limit for the outliers in the upper, upper and the lower range, so let's see if there's any outliers. So the lowest value we have is 32, so there's no problem with the lower values. 32 is above the, up, the lower limit, and the upper value is 84, and our upper value here is 80. Okay, so yes, yeah, so 84 is outside the range. 77, 84, this is outside uh, our limit. So therefore, you can say out, um, 84 is an outlier. outlier because 84 is greater than C. Okay, it's bigger, bigger than the upper limit. Okay, so that's how we identify the outliers. And the next question, um, it says the weights, the nearest kilogram of a sample of male spotted hyenas are summarized below. Okay, so they've got here box and whisker plot. In the space provided in the grid above, draw a box and whisker plot to pl represent the weight of female spotted hyenas living in Serengeti. Okay, so we need five bits of information for this. We need the lowest value, lower quartile, median, upper quartile, highest value within the range, and also any outliers. So let's look at what we've got. We've got Q1 and Q2 and Q3. We've got the lower value, we've got the upper value, and we've got the outlier. Okay, let's get all that information from there. We've got Q1 is so 45 54 and 59 let's write those down 45 54 59 so 45 54 59 45 54 and 59 and the lower and the upper value within the range the lowest is 32 and the highest is 77 within the range okay so what was it sorry it was 32 and uh, 77 32 and 77 32 and 77 and the outlier was 84 so what we can do here is we can draw another diagram but we got to start from the lowest value which is 32 so 32 let's start from here 32 is that's 32 over here so that's the lower value and then we've got uh, the lower quartile which is 45 so lower quartile is over here so let's see, they've done three squares, let's do three squares as well. Okay, there, that's the lower quartile. And uh, the median, in fact, you know what I'll do? I'll use a box, that's a bit neater. Okay, so the lower quartile starts at 45, which is here. 
So let's go three squares up and three down. Okay, and it stops at the upper quartile is 59. And we go all the way up to there, 59. Okay, that's from 45 to 59. And the median is 54. So I'll draw a line at 54. That's 55, so 54 is going to be over here. Okay, and the upper value in the range is 77. That's 75, 76, 77. So I'll do this. 75, oops, I've got missing. 75, 70, no, 75, 76, 77. And outlier is 84. So outlier is 84, which is going to be over here. We draw an asterisk for the outlier, little star. So now I'm going to just draw the whiskers. And there we have it. There's our box and whisker plot for the female, whoops, what am I doing? For the female hyenas. Okay, so that's it. It's a bit straight. Okay, all right, now um, compare the weights of male and female spotted hyenas in the Serengeti. Well, we can see that the average weight of the females is bigger. Okay, and then the, the range of their weights is also more, is bigger. Okay, so we can mention that the, um, the average weight, median, you can see the median, for the females is greater. And also that the weights of the females are more spread out. More varied. More spread out or more varied, you could say. Okay, why? Because uh, interquartile range is greater for the females. You can see the Q3 minus Q1 is greater. Okay, those are the two main points here. They want two points here. Those are the two points you can talk about. The interquartile range and the median. Here you can see the interquartile range is, is wider. This goes from 45 to 40, 59. This one goes from 43 to 54. Four, so it's like short, it's less range than males. Females have a wider range of weights because the interquartile range is bigger and the average is the average weight, the median is greater for the females. So that's what they're looking for in this question.